What's up everybody, my name is Greg. And I'm Dusty. And today we're coming to you with our shoot your pack and drills. Today we have a drill for you. It's a one or one bow with a twist. You're only gonna be able to use one hand when you go dry and reload uh, from your Neomag and, and get back up again. I don't practice this near enough. No. Things to keep in mind, you wanna be real deliberate about your reholsters. That's a big safety aspect. Take your time, do it slow, and then we'll turn up the speed as you get better at it. Yeah, this is just as much of a technique drill as it is a shooting and marksmanship drill. We obviously wanna make our hits count. We're still gonna be aiming for the smallest target possible, but this is a technique drill and learning something new. Now, obviously, if you're in a real situation, you're gonna be trying to find cover, you're gonna be moving and grooving and stuff to try and get out of danger. If your gun goes down, you have to reload. But we're just gonna be static and just learning this drill. Moving and grooving. Moving and grooving, baby. Let's do it. Let's do it. So I'm gonna try and talk you through exactly what I'm gonna do during this drill. First thing I'm gonna do is pace myself out about five yards. Okay, this hand is injured, so I'm gonna hold my phone with it. Hold it up here, it's, it's hurt, right? Defeat your garment with your dominant hand if you're doing it this way. Reach down, pull your gun out. Sights on target, I like to hold mine vertical. Shoot off around, didn't lock back. Still gonna drop my mag. Safely reholster. Reach down, I like to lift my magazine, pull it out, put it in, make sure it's in correct. On holster, rack a fresh round in, back on target, vertical, squeeze, shoot off your next round. All right, so that's nice and slow, safe reholster. Let's go look at the target. See both rounds on target, pretty good um, in the center here. That's what we're looking for. Take your time, get the steps right. In, look at that lock back. That's what we want. Got it. <laughs> Never good. I'd just like to point out that I did hit the target. Let's go look at the target. First round, I think I hit right here. Second round, hit right here. Not the best, but not the worst. So this can happen sometimes. If you don't clear a garment high enough with your hand, you push that magazine in, get it pinched and caught into here. Now, it's training and I like this shirt, so I don't want to rip it, but in normal accidents, you can just Yank it up, right? It's gonna shoot. This isn't gonna cause an issue. Just get your, or pull your gun up, push through it, right? But I'm not gonna do that because I really like this shirt. But you should be able to push through your garment, even though it got caught. It happens, so let's roll with it. Alright, 1266. And both of my hits, I think one to hit the A, right in the center, one of the dots. So that was, that was. Alright, so you can see me there. I was fumbling around trying to get my shirt clear. There's a lot of things that go wrong. This is why we train. This is why we fail now. So we hopefully don't fail later if something like this actually happens. So practicing getting your shirt out of the way, especially if you're wearing a coat, anything like that, it's going to make it even, even more difficult. Again, that's why we train. I want to fail here. So this is something I need, definitely need to practice more. Pretty sure you probably need to practice some more too. So get out to the range, do this drill. You can even do this at home with dry fire. This is, this is what we should be. This is something you could easily do every day at home is, is uh, you know, slide locked back, dry out, click, and do your reload and get a round back in there and, and shoot again. So it's a great drill, low round count drill out on the range and it's definitely a great dry fire drill. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe and like, and we will see you next time.